Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, back in the studio this week with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the Master. Thank you for joining me uh, this week as we look at God's Word and make practical application for our lives today. This week, there is a verse in a very familiar story that when we read the story, we often overlook it, pass over it, and sometimes see it as not significant. But when I read it, I see it as a very significant little note that the Gospel of Mark gives us about a story that is told several times in the Gospels. We find this story in the Gospel of Matthew, in the Gospel of Luke, but Mark tells us something that Matthew does not tell us and Luke does not tell us. Let me read the story in Mark uh, chapter 4 and verse 35 to 31, uh, excuse me, in 41, 35 to 41, and then we'll look at this one little phrase that will be our theme for the entire week. And this is what it says. Uh, and the same day when evening was come, he saith unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitudes, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and, they, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not? that we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind and saith unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was, great, there was a great calm. And he saith unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and say, said one to another, What manner of man is this? And the sea obeyed him. You've heard that when I was a child, James Cleveland won a major music award recorded with the Angelic Choir here. But in the song and in the story that is narrated by James Cleveland in that song, he didn't talk about just one little phrase that should be our focus this week that I think is quite significant. And that one little phrase is found in verse 36, where it says, And when they had sent away the multitudes, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And that's what we're going to talk about this week. That as Jesus was crossing the tempestuous waters of the Sea of Galilee, and when that storm suddenly erupted, that the disciples were not the only ones caught up in the storm. Accompanying Jesus was a caravan of other little ships that were, that were in the storm with Jesus. And this week, you'll see, we're going to talk about these other little ships that are always in the caravan. That wherever you see Jesus, you're going to see following Jesus, these other little ships. Now, isn't it interesting that a storm erupted? It came without notice. It came without warning. And that's what makes a storm a storm. Uh, there's no meteorologist that can predict when you will experience some Emotional storm, financial storm, some relational storm. Some of us are in a storm right now. There was a soap opera many years ago called The Secret Storm. And some of us are in a storm that nobody knows about because it is a secret storm. And I was in this secret storm. And one thing I learned from the storm, and one thing I hope that you learn from Jesus when you are in a storm, importance of self care. No, Jesus, in the middle of the, the storm, verse 38, tells us that in the middle of the storm, and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep 
on a pillar. Now, sometimes storms can affect the pattern. Sometimes we sleep too much in order to take our minds off the storms, or sometimes we're having a form of insomnia. See, But what Jesus was doing in the midst of that storm was engaging in self-care. And it's okay to take care of yourself, to get some rest, to, to eat. You should always forgive other people, but always make sure that while you're forgiving others, forgive yourself. You should love other people, but while loving other people, always remember to love yourself. Be kind to, kind to other people. Make sure that you're kind to yourself. And uh, that the stewardess, the flight instructor, as we call them today, will give you instructions. And they will say, in case there is a decrease of oxygen in the cabin, um, oxygen masks will be deployed. If you're sitting next to somebody who is dependent upon you, first take oxygen yourself and then give oxygen to the person who's dependent upon you. Why? Not because you're being selfish. Simply because if you fall out, you will not be in a position to help anyone else. Self-care is essential if you're going to care for other people. Jesus was asleep in the middle of the storm. Now, how do you, can you sleep in the middle of the storm? The disciples were experiencing panic. Jesus was experiencing peace. How do you experience peace? Well, you know something. You know this. You know that Jesus will do. He will calm the storm. And if Jesus doesn't calm the storm, always remember this. Sometimes the storms won't be calm. They, they will last for a while. But if he doesn't calm the storm, remember that God can calm you in the middle of the storm. And Jesus was calm before the storm had dissipated. And before your storm dissipates, you can be calm as well. Many of us have what's called a when and there mentality. When and then. When I get my job then I'll be happy. When I pay off all these bills, then I'll be at peace. When the storm is over, that's when I'll get back to being my true self. When and then. Well, you don't want to have a when and then mentality. Right now, God can give you peace in the middle of your storm so that you can get to sleep in the middle of the storm. Now, this week, we're going to talk about those other little slips. And here's the point. The disciples are in a storm. And they were so caught up in their storm, understandably so, that they didn't realize that there were other people also experiencing storms. Whenever you're having a storm, never forget the fact that you're not the only person who's in a storm. Never forget that you have not been picked out to be picked on as though life has some vendetta against you. There are other people in the storm as well. I heard about a man who uh, was waiting in the waiting room, panicking back and forth, nervous, biting his nails as his wife was in labor. And he was checking with the doctors to see how she was doing because he's the nervous type and he's just frigidy and crying because his wife is in labor. And then all of a sudden, the doctor comes out and says to this man, congratulations. You are the father of a healthy little girl. And the man raised his hand and said, thank you, God, because she's a girl. And at least she won't have to experience what I had to endure all during this labor. Well, that man doesn't understand that he may have had to endure something as he waited to hear the news about his wife. But he doesn't know what his wife had to endure as she was giving labor. And so many times we can be so caught up in our own little world that we don't understand that there are other people who are laboring with things much greater than us. And they're getting through it. They're getting through the storm that we think we can't get through. And if they can get through and they have gotten through, then so can we. Here's the difference, however, between the disciples and those other little ships. Here's the difference. The difference is this. 
the disciples had Jesus on their shelf. And because you have Jesus on your shelf, you should be an example for those other little ships that are in the storm also. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, look, we're going to be talking about this the entire week, and I'm going to name for you what those other little ships are that are always in the convoy that is following Jesus. But here's today's takeaway, our powerful point for you to ponder, and that is that if God doesn't calm your storm, Look for God to calm you in the midst of the storm. That's a powerful point to ponder. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word and this little note about the other little ship. Lord, some of us are in a storm right now, but you can calm us and give us peace. So deliver us from a when and then mentality, that when the storm is over, that's when I'll be back to myself. Help us to be like Jesus and get some sleep, even in the midst of the storm. Bless your people, and may your word register in our hearts and minds, and may we live it out. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with me with another powerful point to ponder. Look, everybody needs a church home. Uh, everybody needs a church home. And if you don't have a church home, we'd love to invite you to become a member of St. Stephen Church. Contact us here, St. Stephen Church. Email us, newstart at ssclive.org. Newstart, ssclive.org, and we'll get right back with you. Well, you have a blessed day today, and we'll pick up on this tomorrow. But until then, during COVID-19, don't forget to remember to stay safe, stay sane, and remember God is in control. I'll see you tomorrow.